Cheerio. Bonjour. Nice to see you. I had a wonderful vacation. We went to Nashville to see my child for a week. I think it's also known as Nash Vegas these days. Uh, we, one day we went zip lining and there were some little girls having a bachelor party or bachelorette party. I could not live in downtown Nashville because they play music all night long. And I am, I'm not technically a boomer, but excuse me, I feel like it. And it was terrible. I mean, they did turn it off at 11 p.m., but I was like a grandmother with my fingers in my ears. Horrendous. Anyway, I want to talk about this Mackenzie Cirilla. It's disturbing. I don't know why I had not heard of this case, you know, until recently. I'm going to start off and show you what she did. So I'm about a minute in. It's about a one minute video. So fast forward to two minutes if you don't want to see this. It's it's horrendous. The video starts, I think I talk a little bit. She's driving down the street. She had picked this place. One week prior, she had been driving around and they found her in this industrial park where she had no reason to be. Driving around looking for a place that she could kill herself and her boyfriend, her 20-year-old boyfriend. She was 17. Okay, watch this. You, you may be sick to your stomach. So I lied, 1.30. Go up to about 2.30 and you'll see me. Oh, you'll see me again. You guys, this is the uh, Court TV video. Don't watch it if you can't handle it. Or this video is from Court TV, duh. It's her. Let me see if I can get it playing. See, I don't know how to get it playing. There I go. It's her coming up, so she's nearing this industrial park. Maybe I can't get... Oh, let's try it up here. About how dumb am I? Here she goes. Okay, here she's coming up to this park. Look, she's got her turn signal on, so she's very aware. Okay, you guys, fast forward. If you, This is pretty traumatic. There's two kids in this car right now. Hear the sound? Those guys in that car, knowing what she's doing, and you know she's screaming something. We're going to die, or this is because our love will live forever. It's very, very bad. Okay, thank you for that one minute. I'll be right back. So are you okay after seeing that? I, I, I'm speechless. Think about the two guys in the car. I mean, they're sitting there. I assume I assume the guy in the front seat had his seatbelt on. I'm I, ride, I wear my seatbelt in the back seat, so the kid in the back probably did as well, but they still have to be terrified, absolutely terrified. So what the deal was, I told you this girl was 17, he was 20, Dominic. The other man or boy, gentleman that she murdered, his name was Devion, he was 19. Dominic was going to join the military, and they were soulmates, and so they were breaking up, and she couldn't handle it. Apparently, just a week or two prior to this, she had been pounding on his door at his house, and he turned his phone on to record this, and her saying, if you don't let me in, I'm going to go key your car. I mean, this chick was a nut job. However, I'm going to show you the video of her mother in a little bit, her mother at the sentencing. It's clear where this girl gets it from. This girl, completely entitled, 17 years old, out at 5 o'clock in the morning, on a Sunday, I, mean, I was 17, I lived at home, I started to go to church on Sundays. When I came home from college breaks, I went to church on Sundays. That was, that's what I did. At a point in my life, I stopped going to church and I happened to go to Paris with my, my whole family went. We got up in Paris and went to church out of respect for my parents. The sermon was in French, the whole service was in French, we didn't understand a single word of it. But it was very lovely listening to. So, this girl wasn't home because she was entitled. Her parents, her mother, definitely wanted to be her best friend. When I show you this court video, look at the way her family is even dressed. Well, the grandma and grandpa, it's a little different. Her father is not even wearing a suit jacket or, you know, even a nice Oxford or something. I mean, he looks like he got off work. This is your child. And I realize your he, parents aren't the one on, tri on trial, but your child is a reflection of you. The girl had marijuana in her system, no big deal. But she's 17, you know, I, I didn't, I smoked pot once or twice when I was 17. I smoked it out of an apple. She also had mushrooms, 
same thing, never around mushrooms. And she had scales for weighing her pot, which means she's not just someone handing her a roach and taking a little hit. I mean, she's weighing out quarter ounces and stuff. This girl's 17. This is not impressive. They, I'll get to that in a minute. So the car crash happens. It takes 45 minutes post-crash until someone even notices the vehicle. So who knows? Had they been found sooner, maybe they the two boys could have lived. I have not seen anywhere if they died on impact. I still can't believe she lived because if you look at that wall, the driver's side, she hits that wall first. But she's got all those airbags. And so did Dominic. Dominic was, or Dominique, I'm not really sure how to say his name, Dominic was in the uh, passenger seat, and then Devion was behind him. I guess Dominique's a girl's name, so it must be Dominic. But she had told people beforehand that if he broke up with her, she would crash the car, and they would go to heaven together. Uh, she told people this. However, when she woke up in the hospital, apparently the, one of the very first things she did was have guilt. I can't believe I crashed the car. You know, I did it on purpose, and she may not have said those exact words. But the whole reason they really started investigating this more was because of her own words. There's a, a lawyer, Bruce Rivers. Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. He's always got a gun on his desk. You know, I'm getting my concealed carry. Maybe oh, I have guns on my shirts. See? Oh, I got it. What are those called? You throw them. I can't even think of it. You pull the pin out and you throw it. What's that called? Tell me. I don't. Uh, Bruce Lip River says, don't self-snitch. Now, granted, she's coming out of surgery or from the wreck. She doesn't realize she's self-snitching. But hey, if you don't intentionally commit a crime, then you won't have anything to self-snitch about. That's the same thing about if you never tell a lie, you don't have to, have to remember anything. So, this girl <laughs> makes the choice to do a bench trial. A bench trial means there's no jury, it's just a judge. How dumb are you? It means you have to convince one person that you're innocent. I have a little bit of sunburn from my beach. I peeled a bit. I apologize, so I'm itchy. Where in a jury trial, you have to only convince one out of 12 people you didn't do. For all you know... She could have gotten another 18-year-old girl on that trial who would have empathized with her, and she would have only been convicted of reckless homicide, which I'm going to assume has a 10-year max. Uh, you don't have any idea. She could have gotten a grandmother on that jury that looked at her and said, oh, she reminds me of my grandchild, or, or anyone who had empathy for this girl. But no, you went to a judge. Okay, now here's the best part. She's having bail hearings. You know, she was not arrested until three and a half months afterwards. It was after Halloween. If I can figure out how to show it, I'll show you her little TikToks she does on Halloween. Three months post-crash. Uh, this is the event her mother and her father begged her to go to because she just needed one second of having fun. Oh, really? <laughs> really? Okay, so I'm going to show you her this little clip from the bond hearing. I didn't put the beginning in because I assume you guys have watched this and you've seen it. She's all just flipping her hair. She's got her hand just like this, looking at the screen. She's in J JD, like I'm, like I know what I'm talking about. Juvenile detention, and she's here. She is okay. Now pretend I'm the judge talking, but I'm still her. The judge is talking. He's explaining to her that. Her $500,000 bail remains. She and her family are not allowed to have any contact with the victims. And the case is going back to Judge Russo. I'm going to show it to you. Her eyes get huge. Well, everywhere you live, some town, there's a judge that has a reputation of being hard. You guys remember Brian Winchester, that Mike and Denise Williams case down in Florida. He got Judge... Uh, Hangman Hankinson. And he even brought it up while he was testifying against Denise. And Hankinson's on the... He's the judge in that case. And they turn and they look at each other and they smile. And it's a genuinely nice 
you know, to catch it together. Okay, watch this. Uh, watch her find out that her case is being sent back to Judge Russo's courtroom. Right there, see that face? She has heard about Judge Russo and she knows Judge Russo is one tough cookie and this little twit is scared. I love the body language, guys. I love the, they may be called the body language. I don't know, it's the four guys. But I love Jesus, Enrique, and Rocas. And he has multiple channels now. He's even got a little political channel I may check out. But I get into body language because of that. Because of the boys, I really I started studying it. And it's amazing. You can tell if someone's lying by the way they look and, and things that people do and you don't realize you're doing them. But this little girl knows that Judge Russo is not a kind woman. However, I still don't understand why her attorney talked her into a bench trial. Okay, so you know Judge Russo is tough. Okay. So then you want 12 people who haven't seen everything. Think of all the things this judge has seen during her times as an attorney and a judge. She has seen it all. She's not going to fall for this little twit's garbage. I have mixed emotions. The girl deserves every minute she's going to get. You know what? I need to figure out. I'll let you know how much time or how the parole thing works in Ohio. But the mother was more concerned with being best friends with this little girl. The concert, she, she goes to a concert in a wheelchair. And, you know, the prosecutor brings it up. He said, here, three months later, she has not been arrested yet. And these are the things she's doing. She's doing those TikTok videos, which if I can figure out how to put them in here, I will. And she's at this concert. In this concert, she's got her hair all braided up. You know, she looks like Princess Leah in braids. And a sequined bikini top in a wheelchair. And a, you know, Daisy Duke short... This, she's a little twitch. She has not learned a thing. And her parents encouraging her to go to that? Why aren't you in college right now? Do something besides go to a concert after you murdered your boyfriend and you know you murdered your boyfriend. At this point, they had not even scientifically figured it out. You know that they had the surveillance by them. But they were able to prove that she did it. Plus, almost all of our cars have... Uh, something in it that shows what we were doing. It's kind of creepy. I know, I know. So let me see if I can get this TikTok video. That's important to me. Kids, I apologize. The sound is terrible. And obviously we want to thank WKYC Channel 3 out of Cleveland for this. Okay, so these two are post-crash, pre-arrest. It's about three months. Look at them fake eyelashes. Them fake eyelashes. See, you should really know how to use your equipment before you get in there, but... Okay, look at those eyelashes. Why didn't her mother not even allow her to leave the house like that? It's okay. She looks it's ridiculous. Ugh. It's hard to believe this is our future. Okay, here we go. I'm not even cool. I'm just one of those girls that can do a lot of drugs and not die. Look at that. Is that not sick? Now, how creepy is that? I'm the girl you die for. But here's something else. Her mother was all over her social media. So this girl posted this stuff with no fear. I wouldn't do that because, A, my parents would kick my butt. But I have values. And, and this girl has zero self-esteem. The girls who put themselves out like this are just that desperate for attention. Okay, thank you for watching that. Okay, here's just a little bit more. This isn't the sentencing. The prosecution is showing what this girl was doing in between. So look at this. She had been reaching out to a modeling company, which surprises me. I don't think she's that cute. However, and there's no dates on here, and it is post-crasp, 
pre-arrest, obviously, because when she was arrested, she was held without bond. Well, she was held with half a million dollar bond, and her family was not able to uh, get her bailed out. So this modeling company reaches out, and her mother replies, thank you for this amazing opportunity. This is her mother. She would love if you would use that. She's actually been trying to contact you guys for PR email. Okay, her mother's uneducated as well. It was a tragic accident, and she did not purposely mean put an end to any of her close friends' life. Like, life. This is just as painful as it is for her. It's more painful for me trying to have to read this month. Oh, goodness. Her mother's a nincompoop. It's just as painful for as it is for her as for everyone else, or maybe even a little bit more painful heart emoji do you think it's that Mackenzie is going through more pain or the other two families my goodness but then her the little twit herself Kenzie replies so she doesn't have her phone at this time the police still have it but someone has brought her a laptop so she can be on and it's just uh, disgusting concerning emails from the community that the defendant her mother was born mother in 1966 in I'm guessing Angeles, she's 56 Kenzie Sharilla said to Vitaly, thank you for the comment. I would love yeah, to I just read this, guys. brother. I've been emailing you guys a lot. Such a great opportunity. You guys, I want to show you the Halloween example, stuff. That's why we're still on this. Honor, based on the investigation, um, okay, it's it was coming now. delivered to the police while uh, the defendant was still in the uh, Metro Health Hospital. Shortly after being released from the hospital, there. The police were provided look at that. Additional videos of the look at that look. She's got the Princess Leia braids. I mean, she's for the most part naked. And her parents drove her to this concert. Here's someone pushing her in right there. Plus, she got those VIP seats by being in a wheelchair. And I'll tell you, when my father was older, we would go to Ohio State games in Columbus. And we always brought his wheelchair because then you get those special VIP seats. Wheelchair as she attended a concert uh, down in the flats. And again, Your Honor, I'm introducing this is disgusting. To the court to show she intentionally murdered two people. Remorse. Right. This was uh, something that was this being is, exhibited. Right. This is not a girl going on who feels sorry for what she did. She felt sorry for herself. She feels sorry for herself. Year. And these were the sort of things that were coming to the police. And the okay, we want to see the Halloween remorse, one. Coupled with the fact on, that brother. the defendant uh, was reported driving a, an automobile. It shortly it's after not a bad looking event, guy. She was seen in Strongsville uh, again driving a car. Okay, there, here it is. How much further? There next. Come on. She got dizzy sometimes from a condition that she had to take I'm just going to wait. For, uh, so, another 15 seconds. Look at that. I just like this. I don't just like it. With the car that she used to take Dominic and Davion's life. You know that she renewed her driver's uh, license after the crash. Again, still okay. being charged. Kenzie Sharilla celebrated uh, Halloween with her friends in Ohio. Does she look like she's injured at all? No. That looks like a dorm room. Uh, no, it's a hotel room. So they're in a hotel. They're 17 and 18 years old. That's disgusting and vile. Okay, I, I can't even handle that. You guys do know that TikTok comes from China, and China feeds its own kids educational stuff. It feeds our kids ignorant stuff. You know, eat a Tide Pod, stuff like that. TikTok is danger. Kids, I apologize. The sound is terrible. And obviously, we want to thank WKYC Channel 3 out of Cleveland for this. Okay, so these two are post-crash, pre-arrest. It's about three months. Look at them fake eyelashes. Them fake eyelashes. See, you should really know how to use your equipment before you get in there. But okay, look at those eyelashes. Why didn't her mother not even allow her to leave the house like that? It's okay. She looks it's ridiculous. Fine. Ugh. It's hard to believe this is our future. Okay, here we go. I'm not even cool. I'm just one of those girls that can do a lot of drugs and not die. Look at that. Is that not sick? Go to 
Now, how creepy is that? I'm the girl you die for. But here's something else. Her mother was all over her social media. So this girl posted this stuff with no fear. I wouldn't do that because, A, my parents would kick my butt. But I have values. And, and this girl has zero self-esteem. The girls who put themselves out like this are just that desperate for attention. Okay. Thank you for watching that. Okay, here's just a little bit more. This is at the sentencing. The prosecution is showing what this girl was doing in between. So look at this. She had been reaching out to a modeling company, which surprises me. I don't think she's that cute. However, and there's no dates on here, and it is post-crash pre-arrest, obviously, because when she was arrested, she was held without bond. Well, she was held with half a million dollar bond, and her family was not able to uh, get her bailed out. So this modeling company reaches out and her mother replies thank you for this amazing opportunity this is her mother she would love if you would use that she's actually been trying to contact you guys for PR email okay her mother's uneducated as well it was a tragic accident and she did not purposely mean put an end to any of her close friends life like life this is just as painful as it is for her. It's more painful for me trying to have to read this month. Oh, goodness. Her mother's a nincompoop. It's just as painful for as it is for her as for everyone else. Or maybe even a little bit more painful. Heart emoji. Do you think it's that Mackenzie is going through more pain or the other two families? My goodness. But then her, the little twit herself, Kenzie, replies... So she doesn't have her phone at this time. The police still have it. But someone has brought her a laptop so she can be on. And it is just disgusting. Concerning emails from the community that the defendant. Her mother was born in 1966, I'm Angeles, guessing. She's 56. <laughs> Kenzie Shermilla said to Vitaly, Thank you for the comment. I would love yeah, to I just read this, brother. I've been emailing you guys a lot. Such a great opportunity. You guys, I want to show you the it's Halloween cool. stuff. That's but why not we're still on this. Honor. Based on the investigation, um, okay, it's it was coming now. delivered to the police while uh, the defendant was still in the uh, Metro Health Hospital. Shortly after being released from the hospital, there. the police were provided look at that. additional videos of the... Look at that look. She's got the Princess Leia braids. I mean, she's for the most part naked. And her parents drove her to this concert. Here's someone pushing her in right there. Plus, she got those VIP seats by being in a wheelchair. And I'll tell you, when my father was older, we would go to Ohio State games in Columbus. And we always brought his wheelchair because then you get those special VIP seats. Wheelchair as she attended a concert uh, down in the flats. And again, Your Honor, I'm introducing This is disgusting. She intentionally murdered two people. Remorse. Right. This was uh, something that was this being is, exhibited. Right. This is not a girl going on who feels sorry for what she did. She felt sorry for herself. She feels okay, sorry for herself. Year. And these were the sort of things that were coming to the police. And the okay, we want to see the Halloween remorse, one. Coupled with the fact on, that brother. the defendant uh, was reported driving a, an automobile it, shortly it's after not a bad looking guy. she was seen in Charlottesville. Uh, again, driving a car. Okay, there, here it is. How much further? As her mother testified, there next. Come on. She got dizzy sometimes from a condition that she had to take I'm just going to wait. For. So, uh, another 15 seconds. Look at that. that. I just like this. I don't just like it. With the car that she used to take Dominic and Davion's you life. You know that she renewed her driver's uh, license after the crash. Again, still okay. Being charged. Mackenzie Shirilla celebrated uh, Halloween with her friends in Ohio. <laughs> Does she look like she's injured at all? No. That looked like a dorm room. Uh, no, it's a hotel room. So they're in a hotel. They're 17 and 18 years old. That's disgusting and vile. Okay, I, I can't even handle that. You guys do know that TikTok comes from China. And China feeds its own kids educational stuff. 
It feeds our kids ignorant stuff. You know, eat a Tide Pod, stuff like that. TikTok is danger. How about that? Does that look like a girl who is three months post near death, but is so upset she just can't handle it? No, not at all. It looks like a girl who is sitting there thinking, I can't believe I got away with this. Do you realize the accident happened right before August? It may have been July 31st, 2022. She was arrested in November. You have a right to a speedy trial, which means your trial must happen in 180 days. And it, it that's what she needed to do. And she did it because the more time the prosecution has, the more things they can come up against you. Our little suitcase girl, Sarah Boone, you know, I mean, she's in February will be four years since her arrest and her trial is not going to happen before February. I know I'm digressing right now, but her current attorney just fired her. Here's the issue with Sarah. She wants to use battered spouse defense, but you can't do that when you not only zipped your boyfriend up, but you tape recorded it and told him to F off while he's begging for his life. If you were genuinely scared of him, you zip him up and then you run next door to the neighbor or you call 911 and you go outside. You don't let, sit there and watch him and mock him. You know? And then you don't tell the police the whole next day what a great day the two of you had. It was wonderful all day. And then now you're using battered spout. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm going to show this mother and it's going to make you sick to your stomach watching this woman defend her daughter. These two parents created this monster and that's what she is she's a monster at one point and i do say this in the video the judge is so put off she's like what about the victims and the woman immediately goes from okay my, feel sorry for my daughter all the pain my daughter's gone through okay the judge what about the victims oh yeah dominic the funny thing is she stops looking at her notes at that point so Dominic wasn't in her original speech, Dominic nor Devion. She, at the very beginning, apologized to their family. She can't imagine what they're going through. But now she's going to turn around and just pretty much spit in their face. Watch this. Please do not vomit. And if you do, make sure you have a little cup or something. It's disturbing. And I hope this woman, this Natalie Sharira, the mother, She's all over social media, which to me is creepy. I wouldn't want my mom on social media. I'm not on social media. That's, I, I, I don't get it. Hopefully she'll find this video and she'll see it because Natalie Sharia, something is wrong with you. And if you have other children that are younger, I hope that you've learned from this and start raising them a little bit better because being best, if your child likes you too much, you're not doing a good job being a parent. Please make sure you're sitting down. You are going to be horrified by this woman. And I have seen this before, but I'm right now I'm watching it for the first time in a few days. Uh, it's disgusting. And I apologize for that terrible background noise. Let me see if I can. Can you start with your name? My name is Natalie Sharilla. Um, I just want to say, am I allowed to address them at all? Sure. I just want to say to the families that I'm broken, sad, and lost, and my heart hurts for everyone, okay? Davion was her new friend, and Don was the love of her life, and he was part of our family, okay? I'm just so sorry that this happened and your heart broken. Okay, okay. I, I don't really understand why she did that. This is a woman who is out of touch with reality. Okay, and then... Your Honor, this was a terrible, tragic Please. nightmare accident to have happened that she has no... Okay. Terrible. First off, she did make eye contact with the judge right there one time. Right there, she's looking at the clerk. Terrible, tragic nightmare accident. No, it was not an accident. Science proved it was not an accident. And she will never emotionally or physically recover of it. Oh, boo-hoo. No, from it. Um, she almost died, too. And we're oh. asking that you please not run the sentence as consecutive. He was family, and we all loved each other. Yes. That morning of the accident. She did look at the judge again. This is horrific. She called. I got a phone call that she, there was... I also think the mother's dressed like a bum. Her accident. Okay. 
ropes and went to the hospital. Ropes and I didn't tied know around her wrist. The, the names had not been confirmed yet. And I was like, I'm going to cry because I missed him so much. We loved him so Look much. A little dumb tramp in the back. So I called Dom, like, over and over again, praying that he was going to answer the phone. And he didn't answer the phone. So then I tried to call his mom, and she didn't answer the phone either. See, this is unnecessary. I, I don't understand why you're telling this story. And I still didn't know who was in the car. I didn't even know if she was alive. I didn't know what was happening. Mm. So then we were in the waiting room. And then his mom ended up, did, she did call me. So I answered the phone, and I was like, oh, my God. Like, I don't even know who was in the car. Like, what's happening? Was that Dom? And she said, what do you mean? My son. You notice that she's not looking at the judge. She's looking probably at the judge's name tag or something, the top of the bench, but she's not making eye ta contact with the judge. Dead. And I was like, I'm so sorry. And then she said something like, and now I have to wait until your kid's out of the hospital. And then I didn't hear the rest. I just, I was like, I, we loved him so much. And I hung up the phone. I did not talk about social media. I didn't even know what was going on yet. Okay. Oh, I don't believe so that. So then that was it. In the hospital, that Vitality post, I commented on that because somebody had called. Okay, she just said, I am not, wasn't paying attention to social media. And then her very next statement is that Vitality post, I commented on it. Okay, well, that's social media, you twit. I mean, the mother is as irresponsible as the daughter. I've already said it. The daughter was allowed to run wild. 17 years old, 5 o'clock on a Sunday morning, and she's out? Uh, hello? I would have been home, and I had to go to church when I was in high school. So I would have been up going to church. But had it even been the night before, my goodness. And my parents were very liberal with me because I wasn't a bad kid. But this kid had no structure, no rules, no accountability. Okay. Right. And she would. She's what? not a murderer. Yes, she, she is. Have her phone at that point. She actually is now a convicted murderer. The police had still had it, okay? So um, I jumped on it. Two times over, convicted murderer. And I was like, you know, she's not a murderer. She's... What are you doing looking at social people media? social people commenting. I've told you, if you deactivate your Facebook, don't just not use it. Deactivate it. Um, she's been trying to get in touch with you. I mean, at that point, it was just an accident. So I commented on her behalf, not because of the modeling opportunity. I don't even, who cares about that? I don't Look want them to refer to her as a murderer. What okay? she is. And I don't even know how that commented got on the phone because the police still had her device and she could not access her phone or social I guarantee that little girl has a laptop and her mother went right onto her laptop and did it. And she is looking at the judge now. Yeah, is she wearing I a bra? Can't. And um, I had called them asking if they could shut down social media because people were calling her a murderer what are you and making death threats. What are you and talking organizing about? To, you know, take her out when she this, got out of the hospital. This and woman. Stuff. So I don't even want her phone. I don't care about her phone. I don't care about social media. I just wanted them to stop calling her a murderer. But so she, she did come to and she did come out of surgery, multiple surgeries. You guys know that when she first regained consciousness in the hospital, she said something about intentionally wrecking the car and having guilt. It wasn't, you know, are my friends okay? And I'm not sure what happened because she claims that she has no memory of it. But that first consciousness, she said something. And that was what made anyone suspicious right away. Obviously, they ended up looking at the time of day and the surveillance, which I assume they would have done anyway. But her very first words were, I caused this accident intentionally. I wonder if her fake eyelashes fell off during the accident. People calling her a murderer because she would never, ever, ever okay. murder the love of her life. So you notice when she just went ever, 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 she wasn't looking at the judge. And then she ended love of her life and did look at her. But she did. She's a twice convicted murderer mom. Okay. Natalie. For Halloween, for three months after the accident, it, she would only wear his clothes. She would only eat the snacks he ate. And she's looking at she it. She would only listen to the music he wrote. Okay. She was laying in bed for it's three guilt. months, crying. There was a shrine of him next to her with photos right. and things that he liked right. and this flower so, that like. Mom's getting ready to show you that she did not learn any lesson from her daughter 
from the way she parented. Because this is what mom, apparently mom and dad begged her to do. That he got her because he wanted it to be fresh and alive forever. It's like a little... Nobody cares. Okay, she's got this He's gone now. Her. So she was crying for three months. So her friends asked if she wanted to go out to her trainer to Halloween. And it was at OU. And she didn't even want to go. She said, I don't know, should I go? She couldn't even walk yet, barely. Then she definitely shouldn't go. So I told her, I said, baby, please go. And in that stupid TikTok Halloween video, she seems to be walking just fine. It's Halloween. You've been laying for three months crying, only listening to his music. Please go have just a moment of fun. A moment of fun. So we told her to go. My husband drove her. I brought her back home. I, she just needed a second of fun. Oh, me. yes, a second. You know what? Dominique and Devion would love to just have a second of fun as well. World. So that was you selfish we told woman. Her and that concert she went to with Dom's cousin, Abby, they picked her up. They brought her there. That was Dom, Mackenzie and Dom and Abby all decided to go to this concert together while they were in the hospital. That was for Dom. Everything she did after the accident was either in honor of him, oh. to be close to well. him, or just be Thank by him any goodness. she can. Isn't Mackenzie She's such an so awesome person? Devastated and tragic. He was the air that she breathes. Not okay, anymore. And they went with his cousin. We spent all kinds of time with him after the accident. Um, what was the other thing? Here, here. All she now the judge is going to call this out. All she's done is talk about her daughter. What was the other thing? And the judge will remind her of that. And then, wow! All of a sudden, the victims matter. I'm hearing an awful lot about your daughter. I'm not hearing very much about the two dead people. Dominic, okay. I'm asking you for a leniency because this was a tragic accident that she does it not was not. And Don, Davion, we don't. Proven. He's a new friend. I'm so sorry. What does that mean? His life is worthless? No, no, no. Good no, for that no. judge. No. Okay. God, no, not at all. They all. They the mother is making it worse. They all spend every day together. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't know. And isn't too much that part him. of the problem, Mrs. Schmoll? Sorry. Isn't that part of the problem that they all trusted each other? Isn't that part of? It's not a problem at all. It's, it was it's wonderful. A problem how they all ended it, up in the car together and just ended up. The judge is saying these kids were not disciplined. Now. The boys were older. They were 19, I believe. This little girl was 17. And the, they may have been 20. But the judge is saying, Mom, you were not disciplining your daughter. And I understand what it looks like. I'm, well, that's I'm, what it is. That it was a tragic accident. It she was not. Know, but we're going to have to disagree on that. I understand. Right. And I respect your position that you disagree with me. I understand. But anyway, that's it. I just wanted to address those. We she really, to those things. And then she really... You notice she never looked at her notes once. She talked about Dominic. She wasn't immediately planning on bringing up either one of the boys that this twit killed. The mother is absolutely clueless. Go with Dom's family. So look at that. Don't look at it with the... Look, at that. look on that with different eyes if you can, please. This is... That those things are not relevant. Not at sense. all. Not at all. No. Not at all. Okay. But if they're not relevant, then why are you bringing it up? So the mother. Uh. She's a good. If you would, if you would have a moment, all you would need is five minutes of a conversation to have with her. To okay, I've seen five minutes of her TikToks and some of her posts. She doesn't look like a good kid to me. She also had drugs on her, magic mushrooms, and I mean, I'm an old fuddy duddy, but I, I think I saw mushrooms one time. It just we smoked pot. I, this is not a good kid. This kid is 17. And when I was 17, I definitely didn't see magic mushrooms. Who she is. Just that you just need five minutes to learn. And I smoked pot probably once when I was 17. And we carved out a hole of an, of an apple. So we probably didn't really even get very hot. She is. And what she's capable of not doing and doing. And you would see for yourself. Thank That's you. all. I'm so sorry, guys. Thank you. Yes, sorry. she's sorry. She's sorry. I, I want to keep going, but I, I won't. Uh, that's difficult to watch. Okay, I'll be right back. Now that you've seen that monstrosity, do you even understand more how this Mackenzie Cirilla was created? Uh, it's horrifying. Okay. Her mother can see. Okay. Okay. You can tell that's something that she does in her life. Her, her, her family probably mostly ignores her. So it's okay. Okay. 
and I mentioned this, but you know, she doesn't look at the judge. It's, I'm, I'm her right now talking to you guys. I mean, every once in a while she'll look at the judge, but she knows that she's full of poo poo. Got to watch the mouth. Okay, so in Ohio, this girl was sentenced to two 15 year concurrent sentences, but she was also sentenced to an additional 14 months. And I believe that that also runs concurrent with those sentences. 15 to life. In 1996, Ohio overhauled their whole parole and their sentencing and everything. Before 1996, they released a lot of people on parole. Since 1996, it has dropped. They only re release about 25% of what they used to. Part of the reason is more victims come and testify. There's a law, it's called, I think, Roberta's Law, which means that when someone is released, they must, the victims must be notified, or probably prior to their release. I have no idea, but my guess is some man had beaten Roberta up, and he was released from jail, and he went and he killed her, and that was because she did not know he was released. But, so these families... The Russo family and Devion's family will definitely be notified. I have to tell you, I, I'm sure they'll go to the hearing. I'm not sure at this point if they will insist she stay longer in prison. She's definitely going to get, it's called flopped. means you're not getting parole. We don't have to tell you why. She will definitely get flopped the first time. And then it's five more years until she's eligible for another parole hearing. So it will be 20 years. But if you listen, you know, on a separate video, you can find the other two mothers. They both say to the judge, we respect your decision and we know you will give her the right punishment. So she's, well, she's 19 now. She will be, what's 19 plus 20? Where's my 12-year-old? I could ask him. And you know what he would do? He would go, 39. It's sad. I asked him what time it was the other night and he... And, and I'm going to shorten it up. It was another 10 seconds. See? 5.09. Right. I could, the, these, everything's digital. You know, I have a real watch. It's not digital. They don't understand. Oh, oh, anyway. Okay. So I'm not, I don't have any idea. Obviously, it's just my, this whole thing's my opinion. But my opinion, I really don't have the slightest idea what those people are going to wish for. Devion's mother, during one of the bond hearings, makes a comment that Mackenzie is a danger to others and herself. I mean, she is. She tried to kill herself over a boy. 17 years old, trying to kill yourself over a boy. A boy that you really shouldn't even be dating. She was 14 and he was 17 when they started dating. And you know that they were bumping uglies and you know the mom knew about it. So I'm, just, I'm not impressed by that. It, that doesn't... Okay. Anyway, so she's definitely going to get 20 years. At that point, she may not even get out at 20 years. The things they look at are, what's the chance you're going to commit this crime again? Hmm. Well, they look at your criminal history, which she had none. What's the chance she's going to commit this crime again? Well, she has not had another boyfriend since the last one she murdered. If she had one while she was in jail, that was a pen pal boyfriend, and they weren't getting in a car together. So how does the parole board have any idea but to think the first guy she hooks up with, if he dumps her, he, she may kill him. You know, you get a little hardened in prison and you learn things. So, Oscar, you want to say hello? Oscar. Oh, he left. He's not interested. You learn things. So this, I don't even want to call her a girl, but she is a girl. This young lady is not entering the prison system the same way she will be exiting. Can you even imagine being 17 years old, knowing you're facing 20 years? She's crying. Oh my goodness, I could edit that out. She's crying during sentencing. She's not crying for either one of those guys. She's crying for herself. Her little life is over. If you see photos of her, she wears these fake eyelashes that are an inch long. They're like that, and they're obviously fake, and they're tacky, and they're gaudy, and I do not understand why her mother didn't say, sweetheart, 
you look stupid in those eyelashes. Because you know that's what every man says he wants every day. I want a woman with big, fake, gross tarantula eyelashes. Makes no sense. Okay. If you're still watching right now, I'm humbled. Thank you. I am trying to produce some more content. I apologize. Hit like, hit subscribe, and God bless you. And oh my goodness, God bless this America. Bye-bye.